Hello beautiful Cancer, welcome to your love tarot reading. This one is for you and your person, whatever that means to you, situation, trip, relationship, bumble date, marriage. And this is your weekly reading, so it's for the 20th to the 26th of December. But if it finds you at another time and it resonates for you, then it was probably one for you anyway, Cancer. This is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Or if you have a lot of Cancer in your chart, uh, please bear in mind this is a general reading, so not everything will resonate, but what does, uh, please take that for yourself and get rid of the rest. Uh, also, Cancer, if you vibe with my videos and you enjoy my channel, you know what to do. Please uh, like, comment, subscribe. Um, I so, so appreciate and I'm grateful for everyone who's already subscribed to my channel. If you like my videos, if you comment, uh, it helps me no end as a small new creator on YouTube. It makes all the difference in the world to me. So thank you, thank you, thank you. You don't have to. Uh, I'll still love you if you don't, but if you have, big, big love to you, big gratitude. Um, let's get into your reading, Cancer. We're both water signs. I'm Scorpio. We're cousins. Let's see what's going on with my cousin today. Uh, please show me angels what's happening with Cancer and what happened in the recent past to make the situation between them and their person. So, Also, Cancer, if you'd like to get a private reading, all the information about that is in the description box below. There you are at the bottom of the deck, Cancer. Uh, you know, happiness awaits you regardless of what happens with this person here. I already see a Queen of Cups. This is us, you and me. Uh, and Pisces, water signs. You're going to be successful and happy in love. You will be. Oh, yeah. You got the Two of Cups here as well. Two of Cups and Two of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Uh, you'll make some moves. You'll, specu you'll speculate on a new love. Maybe re renew this love. Who knows? We'll, we'll take a look at it now. But there's going to be some kind of a renewal in love for you. And you'll meet your soulmate. Or you will realize that the person that you're dealing with at the moment is your soulmate. So let's see. Huh, yes, <laughs> there was a, there was a, you felt really betrayed by your person. Uh, there was an argument, a, uh, a showdown. It was like a showdown. <sighs> it was a showdown. It seemed like hard work. You just could not make it work. You could not make it work between the two of you. No matter what you do, what you did, it couldn't work. Two of Pentacles, juggling, making something uh, work, kind of, you know, keeping two balls up in the air. Five of Swords. This is a victory, uh, a unfair victory, victory at the cost of um, morality, other people. You know, this is uh, underhanded victory, dirty victory, victory at all costs, winning something, an argument, a fight, a battle. Um... Yeah, could be betrayal too. You feel betrayed. Words were exchanged. An argument happened between you and your person because you couldn't, for some reason, you couldn't just make it work between the two of you. Um, a final judgment occurred here too. The judgment card, Major Arcana, very strong energy. A final judgment occurred regarding this relationship, whether to let it live or whether to let it die. Interesting. It's like someone wanted to continue, someone wanted to continue, and someone felt like it was too much hard work. Let's clarify. I feel like you felt like you could still heal a Cancer, because Cancer has a lot of healing energy in them. But you needed this person to cooperate more. Haha, <laughs> we got the moon. Cancer, also Cancer energy in the moon card. Yeah, um, you felt like you could still heal it, you know, because you have uh, you have uh, deep emotional healing abilities. Moon, moon is that kind of thing. It is also healing. Goddess energy too. Very powerful healing powers. Some of the Cancers watching it have healing powers. Maybe you're uh, your tarot readers. Maybe you're you're kind of uh, on the psychic spectrum. Maybe you know you you got something going on. You got some kind of esoteric situation going on for yourself. Uh, and if you don't, then you will, because like you actually have it in you. Two of Pentacles. I feel like this is your person. They're a little bit more grounded. Could be earth, earthy, earthly energy, materialistic energy. It doesn't have to be an earth sign. It's just that kind of energy. So it's someone who uh, is firmly on the ground, not as emotional as you, not as connected to the collective unconscious. Two of Pentacles is someone who just didn't get it, and they just like didn't see the point of uh, the point of continuing this connection because it seemed a lot of hard work in the material. A uh, very pragmatically minded person, not very emotionally available, uh, five of swords, and they said a bunch of things to you that really caught you off guard, that were really mean. Uh, what did they say, please? 
Oh dear, I got something on my hands here. What did they say, please, angels? Yeah, they were, um, they attacked you. They attacked you. They made you feel alone. They made you feel attacked. They could have used information you told them in confidence against you. Seven of Wands. Vicious. It was vicious. And they knew. And it's like they caught you at a vulnerable moment. And they did it anyway. Because this person was frustrated with their own inability to make this work. They were frustrated with the situation with themselves. And they lashed out at you. Knowing that you were in a vulnerable moment. Uh, and they still attacked you. Hmm. And they used some things against you that they shouldn't have. It was very underhanded. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, the emperor. Yeah. That's the kind of energy your person has here. I feel like your person likes to be in charge. Uh, could be, uh, if it's a man, it could be mass, like, you know, toxic masculinity. Uh, my way or the highway. Uh, but the emperor, you know, uh, it's ar the gender is arbitrary. It's anyone in, in between, male, female, anyone in between, right? Uh, but if it is a male, it is toxic masculinity. To some extent. They may not show it on the outside, but they have it inside of them. Maybe that's what came out in this argument. <sighs> yeah, they were not, like, this is just not a very nice person. Uh, very egocentric. If uh, It doesn't have to be a man, but, but if it is, uh, it is toxic masculinity. And if it's not, uh, if it's, you know, <clears throat> other types of people, and then it's just someone who is very stubborn, very into their own ego, usually gets their way. Maybe someone who is older than you or has more power than you. Some of you might be dealing with someone who has a lot of power in the material world uh, that they use against other people. They used against you. Yeah, Eight of Pentacles. Uh, Cancer, I'll tell you one thing. What I see here for some of you is you were dealing with someone from work. You met someone at work or, you know, it's a connection through professionalism or work, professional connection, something like that. Someone has a lot of power in your area of expertise or area of work, and they were not scared to leverage that power against you. Not a nice thing to do. Yeah, they didn't like the way it was going. They didn't want to, uh, they felt like it was a lot of hard work. They're not used to putting in the work. They're used to more uh, expecting other people to do the emotional work, emotional labor for them. Okay, please show me, angels, the feelings, the wants, and actions for Cancer and their person, and vice versa. Feelings, wants, actions. Perfect. Let's see. <laughs> Yeah, this person has strong energy. This person uh, wants to start again here. You got the full, you got the Ten of Pentacles. Uh, you still feel like it's not over. You'd like to continue this situation. You'd like to, like, you see yourself with this person. If it's a, like, you know, maybe you've been married to this person for a long time and you initially met at work and it's like one of those situations where one of the partners or even in a relationship with this person, one of the partners has more money or more power or more say so in your profession or whatever it is. You still see this as something that's worth fighting for. This is, you see this person as your home, either future family that you see yourself having with them or you have a family or you have whatever you uh, believe family means to you, you know? Uh, the fool, your person feels like they're a fool for you. They can't, even though there's this argument, they were horrible, they walked away from the hard work, they kind of want to come right back to you. They want to start again. They can't, they can't quite, like, you know what I mean? I feel like they left, maybe in the past, with other connections, this person, before they met you, no matter how long you've been together or you, you've had this connection. Maybe you're not together, maybe you're just dating, right? But this person had other people in their life, right? And they would walk away from them like nobody's business. This person is very like emperor energy. It's their law. They lay down the law. But this fool, like now they're a little fool. You change them. They can't walk away from you. They keep coming back to you. Uh, the magician, they'd like to manifest this connection again. They'd like to get themselves out of trouble, somehow explain away what they did, because I feel like they showed a side to themselves that was really ugly, and they're afraid that you, they won't be able to manipulate you quite as well as they have done in the past, because I do see, um, I'm not necessarily saying this person is all bad, but I do see them as a manipulator, so they're a bit of a manipulator, they want to manipulate you again, but they're also uh, genuinely manifesting you back. And the world, uh, you would like the cycle to uh, come around and you'd like to meet with them again. You would like to meet with them again. Mm. 
this week uh, I don't see this person communicating with you however uh, you got the eight of cups this person still needs to think about how to approach the situation for now they're walking away from the connection to reflect and the two of wands uh, watchful waiting in your situation you're thinking about how best to approach it you might be checking your phone to see if messages are coming in you're trying to go within as well and get a uh, kind of wisdom from yourself um, watching tarot readings, maybe getting some counseling for some of you, or uh, good advice from your friends or someone wise in your circle. Uh, what about the week after? Yeah, of course, of course, of course. Yeah, Ace of Swords, yeah, Knight of Pentacles. Uh, well, you got the Queen of Swords. I have to say, uh, Cancer, the Queen of Swords is haunting the readings uh, this uh, today. Um, the Queen of Swords tells me that they will be coming in um, the week after so um or like at the cusp you know uh within the holiday period they're probably going to use that as an excuse maybe to communicate or something like that but i feel like uh yeah maybe like if you celebrate christmas it would just be as christmas is happening they'll come in because they really want to have a conversation one way or another this uh this um i feel like this connection needs closure it, it's not pr properly closed it's not properly closed Queen of Swords, yeah, this is a conversation that will make it or break it. Tell me more. Yeah, they're coming in to communicate. Uh, definitely by the end of the year, maybe closer, closer to the new year for some of you, but they are coming to communicate. Uh, Knight of Swords, definite communication here. Let's get some advice here for you as well. What is some advice here, please, angels, for Cancer regarding this situation? Yeah, you're dealing with a funny person, the emperor. <laughs> the emperor. I feel like the advice here is, you know, be mindful of who you're dealing with. You are dealing with the emperor. The emperor doesn't really change for anyone. Uh, they may, you know, because they do feel like a fool for you. So they, they've they been, you know, extra nice to you probably compared to other people. But they are, at the end of the day, the emperor. But I do see also here in this card that this person is always going to love you and hold a torch for you no matter what happens. The love they have for you is eternal, even though it may not be, you know, I don't know what your situation is. You know best, Cancer. But this emperor, you know, just be mindful who you're dealing with. Is this kind of person you want in my life, in your life, my life? <laughs> Um, interesting Freudian slip there. Is this kind of person you want in your life or is this kind of person who is not going to serve you? Um, six of Wands, yeah. Some kind of recognition could be coming your way as well. Uh, think about whether this person is dimming your light or lifting you up. Is this really a good career move if you do share uh, a workplace or if you do share a career field? You know, is this person going to steal your limelight a little bit? Are they going to repress your ability to be successful? Uh, what about other opportunities for cancer? Uh, yeah, there could be new love coming in. Um, even this month, uh, within a month, new love coming in. Uh, within a week, really, uh, new love could be coming in. You have a, could already have a secret admirer for some of you. But definitely new love coming in. If you're on the dating apps, if you're going out, you might meet someone new. Uh, it could be like a very uh, cute, very innocent connection, very different to the emperor energy that this person of yours has at the moment. Uh, you could meet someone who's like literally the opposite of them, very touchy-feely. could be another water sign. could be a Pisces because there's little fish in there, uh, you know, in this card in the little cup. Could be someone who someone who's very very uh in touch with their emotions the opposite of the person that you're dealing with could be very healthy for you uh even if it's a rebound you know um i don't know what your situation is i would say it's not always unethical to be saying to uh two people um or if you're transitioning you know whatever your situation is it you know you, you do what you got to do obviously if you're in a relationship with someone you should never cheat but if you're out there dating and some you know there's so many people lying and cheating you need to protect yourself. Uh, sometimes it's good to have a few different people on, on the books, not to get attached to one person and then get hurt by that person. It's just a strategy, you know? Uh, so it's just like go out there, see different people who don't have to be in a relationship uh, with all of them. You don't have to get physical with everyone either. If you don't want to, you can just 
uh, yeah, Ace of Wands uh, is saying, yeah, go, you know, uh, good advice here for you, uh, Cancer. Go out there and play the field in the summer and in the new year, you know. All these celebrations going on, why not be seen? Why not look cute? Why not do a glow up and be seen? And just like feed your ego because I feel like you're dealing with this emperor type and they have a lot of heavy energy. They're stealing your limelight. I feel like they're very controlling or they like to be the boss of the situation, you know, whatever your situation is. Especially if there's someone you know from work if you are connected professionally not all of you will be but some of you are and I feel like that's you know that's just like it's taking the oxygen out of the room for you um, now that you're kind of you know this person disappointed this person left or there's a pause on the connection go out there and have fun have your rebound time um, messages of love coming in you know maybe um, you oops, you'll be going to see your family for the holidays maybe you'll meet someone on the way on your travels could be very of a very very cute romance you got the seven of wands yeah take a stand for what you believe and take a stand for yourself uh, they, that came up here before that was uh, what your person did to you they made you feel defensive but you can be on the offense as well you can take action in your life and go for what you want which is um, uh, peace of mind here with the six of uh, swords and the empress at the end of it creative energy uh, feeling in your power that's the glow up card that is a, you know the empress the queen of queens disregard the gender it's arbitrary it could be anyone uh, male female anyone in between but it's like someone who is in their power creatively professionally um, you know in the bedroom in the uh, in the boardroom it, on every level for yourself any divine guidance here please <laughs> two of pentacles your person got the two of pentacles here too say two of pentacles divine di overall divine guidance divine messages here is you know is it worth the juggling is it a lot of hard work it's something if something feels a lot of hard work all of the time obviously you want to put in work into things but if it always seems like hard work that's usually a sign that this is a path that um maybe resisting you traveling in because there's a different path that's bit better and available to you uh that's what i see here but it's all about free will it is your choice uh, i don't know what your situation is it could be that you and this person will work it out because uh, i do see communication coming definitely at least some kind of closure will be attained uh cancer let me know your story below i'm really curious to hear uh this story in particular uh it seems quite spicy if i say so uh sorry if i say so i don't mean to make fun of you but um it is pretty spicy um so let me know in the comments below what your story actually is uh did this resonate uh and let me know what happens uh between you and your person and did you meet that uh secret admirer or new love in december in january and how did it go cancer uh take care of yourself cancer i will see you next time uh and may the angels protect you